Welcome to Johnny Stewart and Friends. Have we got a surprise for you? Hit it, Steve. Well, now since my baby left me, well, I found a new place here to dwell. Oh, it's down at the end of those lost years. I pray for kill a little lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. Well, I'm so lonely. I get down. One more verse. Go crazy. Well, you fell out a tail, he flowing. Well, a desk clerk dressed in black. Well, I've been so long. Oh, <laughs> love me, love me, love me, you better back. sing that song, brother. Well, I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. I could die. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was the beginning of a wild thing of the Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race. Steve Connolly, one of the top entertainers in Las Vegas, is now going to be an entertainer at that. And he's going to sing a little bit more for you in a minute. And I have the two big wigs here right behind me with needles in my back in case I say the wrong thing. <laughs> Not a good thing. This is Jim. This is Jim. This is Gene. This is Gene Wood. He is the owner of... The go kart track where we have this, where we have the Mike Hammer Celebrity Go Kart Race. And Gene, you've been doing this how many years? Here you go. We've been here about five years. Five and years. The, the event's been going on. This will be the third fourth year. year. Third year. Third, okay. And how many like, people? Like how many people are entertaining? There's a lot of people there. It's really a bunch of opportunities for celebrities to hang out with people while we're all driving on a racetrack, going crazy. So there'll be a whole lot of top Vegas celebrities, people you know people you want to get to know all standing around here just kind of shaking hands with everybody who comes and this beautiful taking lady pictures. behind me huh and we're taking pictures oh you're taking pictures of Meeting it all and greeting yeah so don't bring oh, yeah. anybody you're not supposed to be with okay yeah i would like to bring her <laughs> but i can't because she belongs to him so what can i do this is michelle davis and michelle you have your own tv show here yes, also I do. and what are you gonna you, are you supporting this guy over here with this big go-kart race yeah this guy right here gene making sure that he's supposed to be doing what he's supposed to be yeah, doing and not hiding from everybody now is go gene hard. gonna do his chippendale dance i would thing? hope so i mean i have i i've ironed his speedo i dry clean the <laughs> i dry clean the bow tie i thought he was joking you know i oh. got everything ready you got the cuffs? everything's ready yes. okay so, so this go-kart race how about the important thing when, yeah. it, when is it yeah i'm gonna tell yeah. you it's actually october 22nd yes. from about 11 to 5 I'm assuming the about red, that. The red carpet starts at 12.30. 12.30 for red carpet. It's right here at 921 East Sunset. That's 121. Just, one, no, it's 921. One, 121. That's why you keep getting everybody lost. Well, that's why everyone's Sunset, lost. Right? There were supposed to be 300 people here today. Now I understand. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so 121 East Sunset, which is just about a quarter of a mile uh, east of town center. Yep. Right? Yep. right? And it's right across from the airport. Okay, and it's right here, and it's the fastest go-karts in the entire state of Nevada, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. it's been here for a long time, and this guy's the champion um, motorcycle racer and That's car right. racer. That's right. right, Randy, and he races with you well, and around the bed. Okay, okay, that's yeah, difficult. Okay, so, and they are here, and Michelle has a great TV show here also. When is your show? It's just right after mine or yeah, before? it's right before. Oh, did you already do it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you here. You were out. Making sure <laughs> <you're good. laughs> okay, yeah. and we're going to also introduce this Michelle in a yes. minute. This is Michelle Roll. Hi, okay. everybody. I can't wait for the event. I love driving fast, much you do? to the chagrin of Metro yeah. and the citizens of Las Vegas. <laughs> but I always thought I was supposed to be a race driver, so I can't wait. I really do. I think I could have been a really good race driver. Have you ever done a it sober? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. What about Usually. what about what it's for? It's a charity. It's a charity. Wounded warriors, and it also supports three local veterans charities. So this. Wow. Is, so we want to support the troops here. And and this is about five years they've been doing it, right, Steve? Five years. This is a three years here, though, right? Three years. Three years here. here. Yeah. But it's been five years. Mike's been doing this. Mike Hammer, by the way, a magnificent <laughs> magician and has comic. A great show at the Four Queens Hotel and Casino. And Steve has a big show at the Four Queens Hotel as well. As right? well. As well. Mike comes on at seven i come on at nine it's double trouble you come see us both and We're then you both go back to your cell 
And then they we, let them out just for the show. Just for the show. And then, of course, yeah. absolutely, you know exactly how it works. Yeah, right? exactly. Because we have to be in our hyperbolic chamber. Otherwise, we can't continue to do this. It's very <laughs> difficult. So we're going to hear more from Steve playing in a minute. Now, Michelle and also my friend here, Gene Wood. Do you have anything else you want to tell these people about no, the event? We want everybody to come out. The public is welcome to come out and enjoy the celebrities. Enjoy the event. Come drive some go-karts. It's all for a good cause. It's going to be a great day. Aren't you afraid you're going to have 2,000 people show? Up. We well, have. We are inviting yeah, we everybody. Have, yeah. We're we gonna have. be good. We hope two thousand people. We show hope up. two thousand people show. Up. We actually had. We've had huge crowds. It's really been yeah. a fun it's event. It's a great event. And remember, you know, wear a jacket. Sometimes it can be chilly. So yeah. make sure you bring, bring a, a jacket with you from eleven to and the red carpets at twelve thirty. Right? A lot of very interesting people here. And I'm even going to try to get Wayne Newton here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're going to have some great, great people Lance here. Burton. I and said try, Wayne. Things. I said try. Okay. And a lot of hot girls, may I mention. I have to give a shout out to Lydia Ansel. Lydia um, Ansel, violin player. The Jennifer Romas. Oh, Jennifer Romas, sexy. She's uh, on the Mariah show. Mariah Rivera from Fantasy. Oh, Fantasy, my favorite show. Yeah, a lot of hot girls are going to be yeah. here. And I'm wearing a dress that day, yeah, too. Yeah, so a lot of hot girls are going to be there. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, so. Just come for the women, baby. That's <laughs> forgetting. What have we not said we want these people? Can they go online and find more out about this? They can go online. I have the link here, but it's so huge. I can't. I actually, I don't know just go on Facebook to Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race. Facebook, Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race. Here, this, it's a Sunday on the, on the 22nd, a week, from this a week from this Sunday, starting about 11, red carpet at 1230. There's food, there's racing, there's all kinds of wild things here. Wild women, wild women, oh, excuse me, honey, <laughs> are going to be here, and it's going to be a great thing. Did we did we get it all? Well, you got to have Mike Hammer's spelling. He H-A-M-M -M is two M's and a hammer. Yes, H-A-M-M-E-R, yeah. -M -M -E and you, you, you can't beat that. Are we drinking that day? Is everybody drinking? I don't know if we're drinking. Free sodas and water. Free sodas? Free. Free. Why free. would you not mention well, that? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Something is free. is free. Free soda. What else is free? Now, is it Coke? Free? That include Coca-Cola? The rides are free, too. Oh, really? No, okay. the, right? rides are, the rides are not free. The rides are a donation. That's the oh, the, oh, the rides are a donation. How are we raising the money? A hundred, I no, could donate $100? You can um, donate whatever you want. The rides are 25 bucks. A large portion of that goes to the charity. Uh, awesome. But some of the rides they'll be racing with superstars out there, yeah, right? Actually, like me. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm like me. Racer. We get right on the track. We <laughs> race around. I mean, uh, it's, it's pretty. Steve, Steve is the only one that runs around without a car, but he looks good in his bikini. I've seen it. There you go. In fact, okay. I have a picture of it right here. Hey, yeah. you do? Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah give me that. Look. I know which one it is. That's yeah. me right there. Yeah. Completely That's naked. Him. Oh, well, there was another one that was even worse. The, Johnny, by yeah. the way, he I took wrote that. the script. <laughs> Johnny wrote the words that are on that the, it says here, the, the his arc. suit has left the building. <laughs> and then it also says, I'm not Elvis, but I can do an astronomical impersonation. Oh, that's there's good. There's something else. There's something else. You know what he is really good at? He's what? an exceptional painter and an artist. Oh, and we're going to talk about that during the show. You can talk You're, about that later? Yeah. Steve is one of our guests, and we're going to talk a lot about Steve and Michelle Rowe during the show. One of my paintings will donated is going to be brought here to raise money oh, for the same. We are event. having an auction. That's right. An auction of one of my paintings, which my pa I just sold a painting for 7000 wow. Sold a painting for 2000 wow. My paintings do sell. I, you know, I sell prints. I have, if you go to my website, which yes. we'll, we'll and I break into his house on weekends, and you can buy his paintings at my house. That's awesome. Okay. Johnny helped inspire me to do a lot of the speed paintings that I did. Well, thank you. Johnny Good. helped inspire me, and I've done these uh, speed paintings where I actually paint. We're going to talk about that. Do oh. we have a video of you doing a speed painting? I can. I send told you, a you to link. bring one. Well, that's all he needs. Okay. <laughs> So we're here, Michelle Davis. Yes. Do you want to say anything else? Thank you, Johnny, for having us on your show. On the cheek, a little bit, something. Thank you for being here from day one on WCOBM. Okay. Do you want to say anything else, boss? He's actually everybody's you have to boss. Kiss him on the cheek too, though. No, no, I'll just hug you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Johnny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't forget it. It is October twenty second from eleven to five here at the Gene Woods Fastest Go Kart Racetrack. It is Mike Hammer's. Go kart. go kart race. Celebrity go kart race. Yeah, celebrities celebrity doing it. Okay. For charity. It's a for charity. charity. Raise charity. Money All money goes Support to charity. The, troops, the wounded warriors and three local veteran groups. If it all goes to charity, I got to give them you my address so you know where to mail it. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. All right. Thank you. And now we'll wait. Baby. Don't leave yet. We got something special. 
Do you have a video? Yeah. You have her video up right yes. now? Yep. You get this is Michelle Roll. She's worked with me for 25 years. Well, Fantastic phenomenal. entertainer, does tribute artists everywhere, right? Everywhere. Yeah. You can go anywhere in the country and, and see she, you can see her. And if it's not her, it really is her. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna play a video of her singing, then we're gonna talk to her because she's awesome. Okay, here we go. Ready, Scott.
more of this coming up. Well, you just heard Steve Connolly and Michelle Roll do their first duet ever, right? That is true, actually. Right. Their very first yeah. duet. All right, ever. I'm and they're both fantastic it. entertainers. And right now, Michelle had a song on there that she just sang on the video that you just watched. And the name of the song is... That's Why I Am Here. That's Why <laughs> I Am Here. Okay, well, she dedicated that to a special event that's happening uh, tonight, tonight, actually tonight. Tell everyone about this event, the name okay. of it, the location of it, and it's another big benefit, isn't it? It is. It's actually is to benefit the community, and it's called Vegas Meditates for Peace, and it's a, it's a peaceful place. We're going to meditate, and uh, it's a way to release trauma uh, towards hope and positivity. Uh, and positive action, it's, and it's hosted by the Art of Living uh, Foundation, and um, it's a, it's amazing. I actually just got called this morning to do it, so I feel really amazing about it because I feel like this is why I'm here to sing positive music. I call it Posy music, and the song you just heard on the video is a song I wrote and performed at the Smith Center in, back in August, and we're going to be doing that again at the Smith Center December 20th. We're doing a full-on Posse Music Jam, which with a bunch of December twentieth, where Michelle at the Smith Center you, again. Yeah. Okay, and that's and, a it's going to be a bunch of local celebrity entertainers from Las Vegas. Tonight's thing though is at Alexis Park. Vegas meditates, and uh, that's on Harmon. Um, where is it? Three seven five East Harmon. Three seven five tonight East Harmon at Vegas meditates. Yes. Okay, and what? Is the time that it starts? It starts at six thirty. Six thirty to till eight thirty. Can I till ask a question? Yeah. Two-hour thing. Yes, is Steve. That, is that the place that's right across the street from the Hard Rock Hotel? That Alexis Park? I think it is. Yeah. Alexis. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's a big landmark. Yes, the it Hard is. Rock. You're right. And then Thank right across you. the street. You're so smart. What? The oh heck? man, I'm telling you. What are we doing here? There you go. Is that way they can? <laughs> if you're looking for it, it's not that okay, hard. Okay, give find. them the address again to make sure it's we. It's three seven five East Harmon. And the event is called Vegas Meditate, 630 Alexis Park. Expect to do some gentle yoga. And there's no, no charge. Mats. They just walk in, it's right? Free. It's, it's free. It's absolutely free. There's been so much bad stuff, kind yeah. of tough stuff, that has happened to all of us mm -hmm. here in town that a lot of things are happening right now, uh, including the Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race. A lot of stuff. And a lot of charities are getting... Uh, taken care of because we care for these people we love these people we mm -hmm. love las vegas we love all the countries we love and loving we, that's and right. las vegas is really we all know is a small town it's really a, it, it's a big city there's three million people here but everybody knows everybody there's always yeah. there's, no, there's no one i did not know that no anyone but you and michelle lived here till today till today this is the first well, time i knew you're in that cocoon you know? yeah yeah that cocoon. <laughs> so the fact <laughs> is though we feel so sorry for people around the world in Santa Rosa and Anaheim oh, and California. Oh, the fires are brutal, brutal. The hurricanes o o Oakland. and the, 
Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the unbelievable the earthquakes in Mexico. I mean, there's so Puerto many Rico. things. What's going Puerto on in Rico. Puerto Rico? We're so worried about Puerto we Rico. We want to Still reach out power. and say that we love everybody. We're sorry for everybody. And we know that there's somebody up there that eventually is taking care of everybody. And everything is going to work out just perfect. Right? Yes. Want, yeah, that's what we want to try to be. Is I say that at my show every night. Let's figure out how we can bring people together and not divide people. That's right. And I do a tribute to the troops in my show every night. My brother uh, is a 100% disabled Marine. My other brother, Michael, is about to retire from the Air Force. I have two nephews. Your brother is a 100% disabled Marine? He was disabled during, uh, injured during the Iranian hostage crisis, believe it or not. Mm. Unbelievable. Where does he live? He lives in Massachusetts. And he's 100% disabled because he went into the Marines. Yeah, he, he, they, yeah, because he went into the Marines. <laughs> he's the one who told me, I was in the Marines office. I was this close twice. My brother, my brother, oldest brother went into the Marines, my Michael. Michael also left, after Jimmy was injured, he left the Marines and went into the Air Force. But he's about to retire from the Air Force after being in, you know, since 1980. And um, my, uh, my they, and then I have two nephews who have been in serving in the Marines, have done 21 tours in Iraq and Afghanistan wow. since 2000. They went in, in before September 11th happened. So. Uh, and they're still currently still in, and I'm always worried about my uh, my two nephews, Alex and Johnny. It's amazing how many people sacrifice and give of themselves. So one more time, and then we're going to yeah. talk about you, you great entertainer. But this is tonight, Vegas Meditates, Alexis Park, from 6.30 to 8.30. There's no charge. There's going to be activities there. You're going to feel warm and comfortable. You're going to get a taste of Viva Las Vegas, right? And, and something important to remember, too. If and you're, you're entertaining. Yes. I get, yes. I get to sing and... And um, it's also if you've never meditated, they're gonna ha they're gonna actually take you through the process. So you don't if you've never tried meditating, this is a great opportunity to do that. And uh, is it true what they say that meditating yes. is listening? It is. That what they is say? It is praying. It's is listening talking. to your mind and your heart. Meditating is it's, listening. Yeah. It's an internal listening. It's going isn't it? within, being calm, quiet, and and you do kind of listen, but you actually try to push your thoughts out and just yeah. be still. Just try to and go into yeah and a lot of what happens for me is i actually get information you know that is helpful to me inspiration if you will and sometimes yeah. lyrics song lyrics come through or sometimes an idea about a person i should call to help me do something i want to do it kind of comes to you in that meditative mm -hmm. state yeah um it, it's going to be a really amazing event i really recommend it we've got lots of room it's in a big ballroom there, so. So you, you're saying, are they going to dim the lights and light candles? Yes. Wow. They're going to, and they're going to do yoga. Don't bring a yoga mat. It's there's, it's very light yoga is what they call it. Light um, yoga. You're going to be probably seated. Will we get to see people in yoga pants? Probably. Wow. Well, I'm going. <laughs> I I'm might going. be in yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, sorry. Okay. Is well, right? my and wife told me, she said, are you going to get into meditation? And I said, yes. yes. She said, well, it starts with the brain, so I don't think so. Uh, uh, why would she say that to why me? Why would you she know, say why, that? Why, why, I know. Why, uh, She's so... Alex, shame on you. Okay. Hi, Alex. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so that's a big thing. Now, Michelle yeah. Roll. Yeah. Michelle Roll has been here entertaining, Steve, since she was 10 years old. I have a poster of you in the Playboy's Girls of Rock and Roll. Oh, wow, yeah. I have yeah. a poster. Oh, that's I, awesome. You have one of those you posters? Sign, I got to get you to yes. sign it. Yes. Oh, I have absolutely. one of her in Crazy Girls. I know. That was in Crazy <laughs> Girls also. Is She's that, been, well, you is that crazy you, or what? We brought you into Legends in Concert. Yes. Uh, and... and uh, what are all the characters that you play? The character for Legends, the first one was... It was Gloria Stefan. Gloria was my first. Stefan. But you've been in Legends and doing shows for American Superstars, which mm -hmm. is also a good show. Mm -hmm. I love all entertainers and all producers and all people. I have mm -hmm. nothing against any of them. I love them all. That's beautiful. Okay, so the fact is that you've been... Uh, uh, entertaining and those kinds of shows for how many years? I started in 97. 97? Yeah. I, I actually, though, I, in 2005, I took a 10 year break to raise my daughter and I just went back this year to impersonating. I started doing Janice Joplin. That's right. And I saw you in Legends in Concert right. about three or four or five months ago. Yeah. Yeah. And you were doing you. Janice Joplin. Mm -hmm. So when I got to town, as I got to town in 1996, I've been, I was started at the MGM in 96. I did work, start working for Johnny too at that time. But you, I believe you were in the country show downtown, right? Weren't you in a country show? I was at um, I was in Honky Tonk Angels. Honky Tonk at the Angels. Uh, Gold at the, Coast. At the Gold Coast with um, Sharon Haynes. See, remember Lori it was Legacy. Like with Sharon Haynes. I did, did Shania uh, and Bonnie Raitt in that show. 
and that was it. That show ran for a while. That and was then a great what's her show. Who, who'd you just mention? Sharon, Sharon Haynes. Yeah, Sharon. Lori Legacy. They, Corey Sachs. Corey Sachs. All were in that show. Were in that show. Mm -hmm. I saw that show. Hi, girls. Absolutely. I was so shocked to see you doing Janice Joplin. Yeah. Now, Sherry Ray was the first. Oh, the she's first amazing. person. Uh, Sherry, you got to admit this, okay? So we were down in L.A. and I wanted her to audition for me because I heard that she was a good Janice Joplin. And we were down she's in awesome. Studio City, and I said, "Do you want to do Janice Joplin for me?" And she said, if you can walk from here down to the end of the sidewalk on your hands, I'll do it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Little did she know that all through college and high school, I was a tumbler and an athletic oh, type guy. Gosh. I walked all the way down there and back. No what? problem. She's so amazing. she was in the show. Now that's a great story. So she <laughs> she had a nutsack, it sounds like. Yeah, she right? did. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, Michelle, you're, you've been doing so many shows. Let's name mm -hmm. some more of the shows that you've done here. Okay. All kinds of shows. Okay. I, oh, go ahead, What's some know. of the most famous things you did in Las Vegas um, that you like? One of my most favorite gigs of all time was working with Clint Holmes. I was a backup oh, Clint. singer. I love Clint show. Holmes, too. It was the best gig. It was one show a night. Awesome money. The best band. The band was Santa Fe. Was that the one at the Venetian? I was at Harris. Harris with Clint. And um, they, it was, it was. I got to be featured a little bit, but I was like one of the boys in the band. It was the best gig. It was great working with Clint. And he's a great guy. Yeah, he's. A Go amazing. see Clint Holmes. Is yes. he? Is he performing now down at the Gold Coast? I mean, he at the closed. Golden Nugget. He just closed. He just there. closed it. He's doing other things he's now. Doing other things. Okay. Well, he's a great entertainer. Watch well, for that name. When she was doing Clint that show Holmes. at Clint Holmes, that band was performing with me at Bally's. Santa Fe was. With with me in the afternoon oh, wow. at two o'clock. They would the do the two o'clock show, so the the band was working Jeez. hard. That was the, you, the best gig. Lopez. You guys yeah. got a lot in common here. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. Been, yeah. been around. We've been around. Yeah. You're both a lot older than I am. That's for dang sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a so, hyperbolic <laughs> chamber. That uh, you gotta, that's why we look so young. You can't tell. <laughs> so so the fact is, now we have another video of you. I want to play some yeah. more of you because you're so great. What is? Go ahead, Scott. You got something else for her? Yeah. Okay. Where here we go, and she has been entertaining in this city since you were a young lady. Yeah, yeah. 70, except 18. when you raised your daughter. Yeah, I took yeah. time off to raise my daughter. Okay, and is she still here with you? Yep. Okay, good. She raised her so she get old enough to clean the house and mow the lawn. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I have. Three is she an children. entertainer? She sings. She was in a show choir for four years. Oh, that's good. She's awesome. She, okay, she plays you better the get ukulele. that voice warmed up. You're coming up next. Okay. Oh. You ready? We're ready. This is Go Peace of it. My Heart. It's me doing Peace of My Heart as me. Okay. Not, not as Janice. Not as Janice. At the Smith Center. Are you going to still freak out at the end? Yes. Okay. I do freak out. <laughs>
Oh, is that wild, Michelle? You are so beautiful and you are so great. I want you to tell these good people the other things that you're doing right now because you have some other major things that you're doing, and we want to all know about that. So tell us okay. about it. So tell those audience right there. In order of chronologically, next Friday, I'm g going to be at the Tuscany in the Piazza Lounge with Kenny Davidson, and I have a lot of special guests coming to sit in. You should come. Sit in and what's sing. The, what's the date? It's the 21st, 20th. The 20th, the which is Friday? What Friday. time? Uh, I go on at 10, and my special guests will be kind of intermittent between 10 and 12, 45. I finish, I finish at about 11, okay, come. 12, somewhere around there. We play till 12, 45. So come where? To the Tuscany? Tuscany, Piazza Lounge. I do a Jeffendale dance. Oh, God, would so you please come? That's Friday the please. 20th? <laughs> so if I show up Friday around 11.30? Oh yeah. Up and sing. Yes, would you? We could do Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender together? Yeah. I'll bring my guitar. Well, we're going to do it so here cool. too. We haven't done that all the way okay, yet. Another okay, another very important thing. Tell us more about thing. you, sweetie. Next thing. On the 21st, there is a fundraiser for Janine Marie, who is... Has cancer, completely huh? ...completely got really a serious diagnosis. She has lung and liver cancer, both in stage four. And we're having this last, uh, this really big event for her to raise money. Uh, so she can get her next treatment, which is quite costly. Um, and and she, we love Janine. Janine's amazing. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She worked with you. Yeah, she's worked. We, I love her, and uh, you know, I, I have a, gone to a couple of the events, and uh, you know, she's been going through this for a long time. It's amazing what she's fought off. Yeah. You know, for at least the I past know. six or seven years. I see her and I tell her, you're not sick. You look beautiful. She, she looks amazing. Yeah. She's singing. <laughs> she know. went out a couple times and sat in and sang and just blew everybody away. She's got a heart of gold. She's an amazing soul. If she's you can come. She's got the greatest voice. You gotta she's admit. Got, she's I an mean. awesome, soulful white girl. Oh, she's got this Andre. amazing voice. So you can, um, Janine Marie, look her up on Facebook. You can go to my Facebook page and find information about her event. It's at Club Fortune on the 21st, 1.30 in the afternoon. Clint Holmes, um, Marco Tool, the whole, all the chick singers ever <laughs> in, in Vegas. <laughs> Corey Sachs is singing. Um, Dolly Janice, Coulter, Janice, Janice Sands, Janice. Um, Robin St. Romain can't be there, but we're holding her in spirit because she's working really hard right now. Yeah. Um, but it's an amazing cause, an amazing event. We There's a lot of people that we love right now that are going through trouble. Yeah. And I want to mention a couple of them because we both, all three of us know them and love mm -hmm. them so much. One is George Schulinger, which was my first cast of Buddy Holly. And he lives he's down amazing. in Orlando. And he's going through tongue and throat cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, we wish him all the love and support. And I want you to know that every single day, George, every day when I wake up and when I go to bed, your name comes up in my prayers mm -hmm. every day. And also Tony Roy. And Tony, Roy Tony Roy had a fall in Branson, Missouri. He had his own show. And Tony Roy was one of my top three Elvises in the very beginning of the show. You remember Tony? Oh, absolutely. He was one of your, you admired Tony. Yeah, Tony's a, one of the few Elvises that I just love. I Amazing. love Amazing. Yeah, he's you know? awesome. Okay. I mean, not that I don't love all the Elvises. Right, I love all right, the Elvises. Right. I yes. love every one. I'm all your favorite Elvis. Elvis. You're my favorite. As far as Elvises go. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> you, me and you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's jump. Let's jump in a suit. I mean, but, a jumpsuit. But Tony a is going through. He's been in a coma about four and a half, five months. I mean, it's, it's a tough thing, and we all want to pray for all of our good people throughout yes. the the world all the people going through all these other traumas there's so much going on isn't there yeah uh, of things going on and you guys keep you know you, you you lift the spirits of people when you go out and sing and you do the things that you do mm -hmm. you know I see the audiences when you go out and you sing and hit that guitar and we're gonna talk about your paintings in a second I mean you're an animal let's face it mm -hmm. okay on that note one more thing I want to yeah, mention you mentioned right uplifting now. and empowering humanity through positive music is really my kind of mission in life and it's really what I feel I'm here to do, and uh, I get to do it tonight at Vegas Meditates, and also December 20th at the Smith Center, we're doing the first ever Posse Music Jam. What and is that? What is that? Positive music, Posse music. And so it's music that's positive, uplifting, motivational, inspirational. Um, it doesn't have, it's spiritual, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, anything, even a, a, a top 40 song like Happy. Is it a ticketed considered. event? Event? It is, okay. and, and it's also a fundraiser for Unity of Las Vegas and Shirat Shalom um, Judaism Church. Are different people singing? 
yeah, live it's a or lot is it of tracks? It's, oh. it's all live. We got a live band with. I just found out today, Robbie Wingfield, who's the piano player in La Rev, is oh. going to donate three horn players. So we're gonna have horns now, wow. and uh, it's a, we'll have a full band and a percussionist, and, and everybody's gonna be singing posy music to uplift. You're gonna be singing us. "Walking on Sunshine," then, no doubt. Exactly, that's the perfect posy song. <laughs> All right. And so a lot of originals and covers, and maybe some holiday music thrown in there too. Yeah. The other thing I want to mention, one other person, then we're gonna get to a bunch of stuff. But my brother Rodney, remember Rodney, my yes, brother? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you remember Rodney? Yeah. Yes. Well, Rodney is down at UCLA Medical Center, and he's been going through a trauma of pain and stuff and nobody knows what's wrong with him he's been going through it a little over three months and uh, living down there with Tanya his uh, daughter and her husband Josh and they're trying to help him but because he has to go over to LA Medical Center a lot of us go through things don't we yeah, yeah. yeah. tough so Rod we wish you success and you get well too and you're also mentioned in my prayers I'm having knee surgery in uh, January 3rd knee surgery I tore the meniscus in this knee right here wish I could straighten my leg out tore it. None of us are going to make it. Yes, no, we're going to be fine. Tough. And I have to keep wiggling and keep shaking, man. <laughs> you are going to do it. Well, you're great people, and we're going to talk about that and do it. Now, Michelle, was there one other thing you wanted to announce? We want to make sure they know Vegas meditates tonight uh, at the park, Alexis yeah. Park, uh, right oh. across from the Hard Rock. Is that what it's called? Yes. <laughs> yes. And what else Alexis do you want to talk about? This is the yoga thing. One more thing. The yoga thing. Right? Yeah. Well, that's tonight. Yeah. That's tonight. One more thing. The thing I didn't mention is on the 22nd, I'm singing at Pride Festival in their closing ceremony. And you're going to be here too? Yes. I'm going to okay. be here. You're going to be, I'm going to be there. When is that? What time is that? This is the, the busiest Festival. weekend next weekend. But it's, Pride, it's, it's Sunday. Pride starts, I think, at 10 a.m. The closing ceremony starts at 5, I think. Five is that the, the one evening. you're going to maybe so, try to get over to at the Tuscany? No, that no. Where, well, where is the Pride fe Festival taking place? Sunset Park. Oh, Sunset Park. I think. Okay, and we want to say one more time, too, that right here where we're at, right here at Gene Woods and Michelle Davis, the uh, fastest go-karts in Las Vegas. They've been here about five years. They do this big benefit called Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race. Tons of entertainment, tons of food, tons of go-kart racing, and tons of good time, right? Tons of good time. And you're going to be entertaining, too, right? And I'm going to be entertaining, okay. meeting and greeting, taking photos. Did you tell people how they could find you on the website or something? What is your website? What's your uh, I have uh, Michelle at MichelleRoll.com. Um, Spell also, that for them. M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E at M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-R-O-H-L.com. Uh, you can, I have music on CDBaby.com, and I have two songs on there. And we're donating the proceeds to Janine for one song, and the other one we're donating to Unity of Las Vegas. And um, I, I, I've donated to um, Steve Sisolak's fund, and I just encourage people to please donate, continue to donate to that. Well, that's awesome. Well, Steve Connolly, I've been working with you, and we've known each other for, I don't know, probably at least 15 years or more, right? It's actually more, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we first met in 1995, October of 1995. I was seven at the time. Yeah, I and I, I was, of course, wearing my... Those diapers, little, diapers. Little, what do they call those little kids' shoes? Uh, that Oh, man, the word <laughs> escapes me. They're, now... I want to hear Steve Connolly hit me one of your Elvis songs. Come on, and then maybe you and Michelle can sing us a song. Hit me. Hit us, right, baby. Hey, let's see. Uh, let's do this one. Well, there's a one for the money, a two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue shoe. Well, you're doing it, baby. Well, you all of my blue shoe. Knock me down, a stamp on my face, a slant of my name all over the place. I'm doing a thing that you want to do. Uh, uh, honey, lay hold on my shoes and don't you step on my blue shoe. Well, you're doing a thing, but lay hold on my blue shoe. You know the words? Sing with me. Blue, blue, blue sweat shoes. Blue, blue, blue sweat shoes, shoes, baby. Blue, blue, my blue sweat shoes, huh? Blue, 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 blue sweat shoes. shoes. Well, you can do anything but lay hold of my blue sweat shoes. Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay. And right now, Woo. how many nights a week are you down at the Four Queens? I am uh, five nights a week at the Four Queens. Tuesday, what nights are those? Tuesday through Saturday in the term dark. That would be Sunday, Monday. That means when it's dark, 
um, you can come, but you won't be able to see me. So that's right. Sunday, Monday, we're dark. So we'll make a hologram of you so they can see it whenever they want. Speaking of holograms, if you see the new movie Blade Runner, there's a hologram performance by Elvis Presley in the movie. I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to go ahead. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. There's a fight scene, and then they stop fighting because Elvis starts singing Can't Help Falling in Love. Oh, I love that. No. Should I give it away? Yeah, give it away. Uh, yeah. It's a little late now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a funny thing that happens. Oh, okay. I won't give it away. But it's. I just think it's so cool that Elvis, they chose of all this stuff in this futuristic movie so cool. to have a fight scene in a, in a Vegas casino and have Elvis in the background, this oh. hologram performance. Awesome. When Is there a video out? of him? It's out. It's out. I just oh, saw I it on Friday that. night. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. I'm play. Gonna see that on Have you got a video of me? You got We're going to play a little video of something special with Steve Connolly. This is just okay. a one-minute video where I paint a painting in eight minutes. That's so right. Can, it's a sped up. The painting itself actually took eight minutes. Okay. And you're going to, but all you have to focus on is one minute. That's what's great about this video. Okay. Go for it. You, you know, th this ain't easy. Uh, uh, a painting of, of, of course, the, the person that he's impersonating, which is the spirit of the king, Elvis Presley. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I kind of uh, pushed you into that a little bit, didn't I? You did. You did. Johnny, uh, way back, we met in 1995, and initially you had a guy by the name of Denny Dent. Denny Dent. Working in the legend show. Who, Fastest artist in the world. Speed painter extraordinaire, who basically every speed painter ever owes a debt of gratitude to Denny Dent mm -hmm. and to Johnny Stewart. Thank you. And uh, when I first met you, I told you, hey, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, you know, and you said to me, all I care about is can you do Elvis? And I already got a painter. I don't need another painter. And you walked me through your, your office where you had Probably dozen Denny Dent paintings. Denny Dent. Uh oh. Yeah. Your mother's calling. Hollywood calling. That's my okay. daughter. I got to turn this off. <laughs> okay. Should <laughs> I answer? She's on TV. That's my daughter. Look. Okay. There she is. Aww. There she is. All right. Uh, she's 16. She's probably wondering why I'm not home right now, feeding her. But uh, anyway, so the at the time I did show you some of my portfolio, but as time went on, Denny broke off and started doing whatever he was doing and then somewhere around 2005 2006 you were at my house and you saw some of my paintings and you said wow these are great I said I know I tried to tell you that 10 years ago um, but anyway you said can you do it in three minutes and uh, at the time my paintings are anywhere from six hours to a hundred hours so I had a big portrait of Elvis that took me maybe seven or eight hours and you he's, he's well I need you to do it in three minutes so I started practicing videotaping myself and, and also you need you to sing you can have to paint and I sing. need you to sing I need you to move and I need you to paint wow. now shut up and do it yeah that's a tall order <laughs> so I started doing it and we worked on different things and by the my first paid gig was at the uh, Berkeley School of Music in Boston the first time I was paid to sing and perform and paint in 2011. So it took me from when you were over in my house, 2005, 2006. We did have some art gallery stuff. I did do, yeah. I did do it at an art gallery. I was in the Las Vegas uh, Center for the Arts. My paintings were on display, and I did it there. Um, but I wasn't getting paid. So I say, well, the first time I got some money, man, the first time some actual money was in Boston, where is exactly where I'm from. So, but then uh, anyway, I do it corporate-wise. I charge a lot of money if I do it now. 
which is anywhere from 4,000 to 7,000, depending. I just did one at the Plaza Hotel. I did two paintings. I actually painted the CEO of the corporation as well, which was crazy because I had to spend weeks drawing and painting him. Wait, so, I painted the C C <laughs> C. What is it? The C what? C O O. C E O. This guy. C E O of a corporation, and the hardest part of it was I couldn't get him to hold him still enough so I could paint him. Yeah, you painted him with a roller cover, right? Yeah, with a roller, roller cover, right up and down. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I don't know if that's a boring story, but the fact is, I it's did a end good up story. doing it. For many months in Palm Springs, I have paintings in art gallery in Palm Springs. Uh, you know, I, I did it six nights a week, six shows. It's and people can amazing. see you right now down at the Four Queens, Tuesday through Saturday at 9 o'clock. You're on there with our friend. With Mike Luke. Hammer. Mike, Mike Hammer. Hammer, the go-kart races, which is why we're here to promote. And we're here to promote Mike Wounded Hammer's Warriors. celebrity go-kart race, which is this a week from Sunday, the 22nd of October, from 11 to 5. And it's food and racing and entertainment all day long. A lot of celebrities here. You're going to love it, right? And, it sounds, and you're, you're going to be race. here, right? And I'm going to win the race. I just you're going to win the race. Okay. Be you, have to be, you have to be in a go-kart. I will. Oh, my. I you're, want you're going to be out running on the street. I want to race. I want to be a race car okay. race car driver. All right. So we're going to do it. And what song are you guys going to close out with as we do this here? Because we're going to do this. You Wait, I want to make sure you know right here. And I helped him write this, you know. right? Did I help you write yeah, this? The fact of the matter is Johnny did absolutely come up with this caption on 10 postcards. They're yeah. all different ones. Some uh, say... Uh, please do not let my mother know this. No it says, ifs, I'm not bus. Elvis, but... I am an astronomical impersonator. And the See word that, Rod? My brother Rod, you get better, buddy. The only we Elvis that. that will not embarrass you. That was one oh, of your things. I too. can't believe I did that. And I teach you a Sunday. So funny. I teach a Sunday school class. <laughs> no, oh, I gotta he, take. The, he kept telling me, "Don't tell anybody." But you, they were so great. You were just like riffing, <laughs> and I was writing them all down. That's, I, I, I am the end of it. That sounds yeah. like Johnny riffing. Okay, now what song are we gonna <laughs> go out in. singing? To our audience, we love you. And don't forget, Mike Hammer Celebrity Go-Kart Race a week from Sunday right here, 11 to 5. Free sodas. Free water. We're going up. We're going down. Oh, we're going down. We're going up, down, down, up and around me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got me doing what you want me to do. Baby, what do you want me to do? Oh, what you want me to do, yeah. You got me creeping. You got me high. You got me creeping. High, high, creeping. Any way you want to lay roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back and see us, Johnny Short and Friends. Thank you. You got me doing what you want me to do.